Welcome to From Startup to Shadow channel. In today's video, I will show you how to download and install the V1 Captain Sim Boeing 737 version 1.8 add-on. But before I get in, I will give you a quick description and show you how this looks like in the cockpit. Basically, the V1 add-on will simulate the data card that the pilot uses for the takeoff and landing V speeds and performance. In addition, the V1 Captain Sim Boeing 737 is featured with the pilot non-flying callouts, which will assist you during your flight, such as speeds callout during the takeoff run. And you can find more information about the other features inside the folder. Let me now show you step by step how to get this add-on installed. You will find the link in the description box below this video and here is how this link looks. This will take you to this specific Captain Sim page as you can see here. Scroll down until you find the V1 gauge for Boeing 737 and you can recognize it by its picture. Click on download. Then you will be brought to AvSim library. Here you can download this file for free. You only need to log in or sign up for free. After the download is completed, you will get these packed files called Captain Sim Boeing 737 version 1.8 update. Unzip this to an empty folder and you get what you see here. Now these files and folders are the one we're gonna install. And the other one are more for descriptions and instructions on how to use this add-on. Let's now install these files starting with Captain Sim and Sim Objects folders. We select first the two folders, then we drag and drop them inside the main FSX folder. The next step now is to copy these four panel files to their associated aircraft in the FSX Sim Objects airplane pad. Since I have only Captain Sim 737-200 installed, I will copy this only. If you have other models installed, you will follow the same steps as I'm gonna do now. So I copy the Boeing 737-200 panel to my Captain Sim Boeing 737-200 panel folder. Now I will first back up the original panel. Then I will rename the new panel, the one I just brought from V1 Captain Sim add-on as panel. That's it and all set now. Let me now uh, show you briefly this inside the cockpit uh, in FSX. Now uh, after I have loaded the, the Captain Sim 737 in my FSX as you can see here, I'm in the virtual cockpit. Now to bring the V1 data card in view, first I need to bring the Captain Sim icons by typing Shift 2 combination on my PC keyboard. And here you go, V1 icon is installed. If I click on V1 icon, this will open the data card as you can see here. I will do some uh, tutorials on how to use this in conjunction with the performance data computer system in other videos uh, and this complete the today's video and thank you for watching.